Hi there, hope you're all doing well. This week I pulled out of my to-do pile a Berserker veteran from One Page Rules. I was originally going to be doing a similar scheme to my Dwarf Guild's army, but I figured I'll try something different and I might as well go for a cyberpunk gang scheme. It was black and white zenithly primed and I get started with cuirassed leather for the shadow colour of the skin. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You can also join the Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. Next up, I start bringing up the mid-tone of the skin with Paladin Flesh. This is used just to bring up all of the parts that are getting hit by the light, just leaving that darker tone in the shadows. Finishing off the skin, I used barred skin and brought up all of the uppermost parts that will be getting hit by the light the most. Now the skin is finished, I grabbed glistening gums just to get his hair and the axe blades coated up. For the mid-tone on the hair, I went for Viejo's model colour pink. Since I was trying out new things, I thought I'd give non-metallic metal a go with the pink colour scheme. So I started fading in the pink from the edges of these axe palettes.
to highlight the tops of the hair strands and the edges of the blades, I used Neo Pink. I also added this as a bit of an outer fade, bringing it in towards the center. Getting started on the fabrics, I start off with lead grey. Bringing up all of the upper parts of the fabrics and the edges of these straps, I grabbed English grey. For all of the parts of the fabric that are getting hit by the light the most, I added a highlight of stonewall grey. I wanted to push those grey highlights a little bit further so I grabbed the white star, I dotted in the eyes and brought up the uppermost parts of these grey. Getting the base done I went for burnt umber. As I wasn't really sure what color to do this and a muddy base is generally my go-to when I don't have a plan. Now for the longest part of this mini, I went over all of the metal parts with surcoat silver. This will be broken up afterwards, but I'm doing this as a base coat to get them ready.
breaking up some of these silver parts i grabbed steampunk copper we'll talk about just a few details around the mini nothing in particular just random parts i chose at the time Pushing the cyberpunk theme a bit more, I used a talisman green and bring up all of the crystals and some of the details around these cybernetics. Before the wash I got some highlights in on the silver with mithril blade just around the edges and some parts I want to look a bit brighter and a bit of variation. Now for a wash, I used dark tone wash over all of the metal and the fabric parts. The wash darkened down the green a bit more than I liked so I grabbed fluorescent green and just brought them all back up and really made them pop. And that will be it for the Berserker Veteran. I like how the skin came out. I think I'm starting to get there with getting skin looking nice without using a wash. For the Axe Blade, I think I need more contrast though for it to look better. Maybe a darker tone somewhere in the middle of the blade so it's a bit more of a fade. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. You could also join Discord using the link in the description where you can share anything you have been working on. As always, if you want a closer look at this mini, check out my Instagram page. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Most importantly though, be kind to each other.